Hey, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord, and in this video we're going to be breaking down how to play the Druid by Salik. So, get your guitar tuned to C standard and you'll be ready to play along. There's also a tab available on the Patreon page, there's a link in the description. Let's break down what gear I'm using, and then we'll do a playthrough and then break down each of the riffs. So for the lesson portion of this video, I'm playing a Squire with an aluminum neck from Obscura MFG. This one has active pickups. It sounds a bit different, but I like using these mirror finish necks for the lesson portion. It makes my fingers a little bit easier to see. So for the playthrough portion, I'm playing a Dunnable R2DE. Really great guitar. There's a demo on the channel and an awesome guitar for this sound. I'm using a Fuzzlord FTW120 distortion for all of the dirt in this video. So my amp set clean, it's a high watt DR103 style amp, and all of the dirt's coming from this pedal. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. And on the playthrough portion of the video, I'm running a little bit of spring reverb in the background with the Doom Dweller. All right, let's check out the playthrough to the song, and be sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this Dunnable. Uh, compared to the Squire. The Stunnable has passive pickups, the Squire has actives, and they sound quite a bit different. So I'm curious to know which one you thought sounded better for this song. Switch guitars for the lesson portion of this video. I've heard some people say that they like the mirror finish fretboards for the lesson parts. So uh, let's start with the first riff. We have a couple basic chords that we're going to be using, and that is starting on the fifth string, seventh fret, and the fourth string, ninth fret. We're also going to be using the fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, seventh fret. Slide back up to it. Two more chords for the first part, and that's going to be the seventh fret on the fourth string and the ninth fret on the third string. A little two finger power chord. Slide that down to the fifth fret. I'm going to play the first little part through for you. So we're palm muting and hitting that open sixth string twice. Then we're gonna play our power chords, the seventh fret, fifth fret, two more palm mutes. Second time you're gonna play each of the chords twice. A little vibrato when you slide back up, two more palm mutes. Move up one string higher, still on the seventh fret. So we're starting from the four string seventh fret. Playing the two finger power chord and sliding down to the fifth fret. Play it again. Second time, we're gonna drop down to the sixth string and slide up to the fifth fret. Also playing the fifth string, seventh fret, a two finger power chord, and then up one more at the sixth fret. We're 
Pete. second riff goes like this. The basics of it, we'll just play single notes at first. So, sixth string, seventh fret. Fifth string, so 6th string, 7th fret, 5th string, 5th fret, 5th string, 7th fret, then hit it and bend up, and come back down with a vibrato. 6th string, 7th fret, 5th string, 5th fret, 5th string, 7th fret. also choose to just like play power chords with it just drop that second finger All right, this is the last riff of the song. Let me play it through once. It's using most of the same chords from the rest of the song. Uh, so let me play through it once at basically up to speed. So same chords from the rest of the song. We're going to start off on the 5th string, 7th fret, that power chord. Slide down to the 5th fret. And we're just going to go back and forth between them. Here's the rhythm of it. One more time slow. So the second part is exactly the same as the first, only we're going to add two different chords. We're going to jump up to the fourth string on the eighth fret, and then the third string, tenth fret. This is the new chord of the song, so play that and then slide down one fret to the seventh fret. Whole riff. All right, that wraps up the song. I'm curious to know what you thought of the lesson and what did you think of the difference between the way this guitar sounded versus the Dunnable. Uh, this one, of course, has the aluminum neck with the active pickups. The Dunnable is a wooden guitar and has uh, standard humbuckers. They both sound really cool to me. Uh, I think the Dunnable is more fitting for this song, but I just love playing this guitar. Uh, drop a comment below if you got a suggestion for the next video. And I'll talk to you in the comments. 
I really appreciate you checking out this lesson. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the gear demos and lessons that I have coming out almost weekly. Again, drop that comment below. Let me know an idea for a future upcoming lesson as well as what you thought about the tone of the two different guitars. All right, before we wrap it up, just want to say thank you to all of our Patreon supporters whose names we're running on the screen right now. These are all the folks that support the YouTube channel through Patreon. There's a link in the description. Uh, it's the same place that you can get free guitar tabs, the Doom Metal IR cabs impact that I made, as well as some access, early access to paddle releases, discounts, and we do some giveaways on there as well. So I really appreciate each and every one of you, as, as well as our producer level supporters, Bayu Slavic and Daniel. Uh, big special thanks to Illuminati Guitars, Obscura MFG, and of course Dunnable. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord. I'll talk to you in the comments, and I'll see you next video.